I'm in my early 50s and I live with my family in South London. I'm a survivor of the psychiatric system. That perspective info informs all the work that I've been doing in the mental health sector for the last two decades. I've been making art for over 30 years. These days my work is figurative. I'm currently working on a really large project where I'm hoping to make a daily drawing for the 1,872 days of the Tory government. Tomorrow I'll be making drawing 203. During lockdown, I've been spending an awful lot of time in this very small studio space. The overall experience of lockdown for me has been very much like a roller coaster, which was initially one of my daily drawings, and now is a painting which you can see behind me. I really find that my mental health can fluctuate literally minute by minute, sometimes hour by hour, or day by day. And I think I've, I, um, with people I've been speaking to, I think, I think that's a quite a common experience. Swimming is such an amazing exercise for all the body and it's something that I haven't yet managed to replicate. I mean, I'm trying to do skipping. Again, I'm a really poor skipper, but I hope to get better. Um, but I've also been doing quite a lot of walks about my, around my local area, which I got to know a lot better. I even discovered a wood about 10 minutes away that I didn't know was there before. But some days I make political cartoons. In some of these drawings, I speak directly to Boris Johnson. I also find it quite empowering and sometimes humour is really helpful in the light of really difficult circumstances. I've also enjoyed making drawings about some of the hi historical events we've witnessed during lockdown, like the removal of the Colston statue in Bristol and the Black Lives Matter protests. Upsettingly, inequalities in our society have widened because of the pandemic. In New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern has been a leader that's a, that has been able to contain the impact of COVID-19 with consistent planning and very, very clear information. Here we haven't had that clarity of leadership. I think collectively, but particularly for me, it's felt very unsafe and confusing. We haven't been contained. And I believe very strongly this impacts negatively on all our mental health.